Director Charles Ferguson earned an Academy Award nomination for his Iraq War expose, No End in Sight. His follow-up, showing Friday and Monday at the New York Film Festival, takes on Wall Street's role in the global financial crisis. Ferguson grilled a mix of bankers, politicians, and scholars in order to explain the origins of the meltdown. Finance is too important to be left to the financiers. We left it to the financiers, and we see where that got us. Bear Stearns was rated AAA like a month before it went bankrupt? Uh, more likely A2. A2? Yeah. Okay. A2 is still not bankrupt. No, no, no. No, it's, it's a high investment grade, solid investment grade rating. Lehman Brothers, A2 within days of failing, um, AIG, AA within days of being bailed out. Um, uh, Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac were AAA when they were rescued. Um, Citigroup, Merrill, all, all of them had investment grade ratings. How can that be? Well, that's a good question. <laughs> <laughs> that's a great question. It's hard to take something that's complicated and make it clear. Uh, we put a lot of effort into it. Uh, I, from the very first, I wanted, I really did want to keep jargon to a bare minimum. When were you first told that Lehman, in fact, was going to go bankrupt? Uh, after the fact. After the fact. Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay. Um, and what was your reaction when you learned of it? Holy cow. Paulson and Bernanke had not consulted with other governments and didn't understand the consequences of foreign bankruptcy laws. The incredible disorganization of uh, the top levels of the Bush administration during the crisis, that, that Henry Paulson and Ben Bernanke literally did not know that British law would force Lehman Brothers' London office to close did not know that all assets in the London office would be frozen, did not know that that would have all these ripple effects throughout the financial markets. I found that quite astonishing. And the blame is, you know, uh, broadly spread across both Democrats and Republicans and, and even both liberals and conservatives. First year, the Obama administration did not enact a single major financial reform. Addressing Obama and quote, regulatory reform, my response, if it was one word, would be, ha, there's very little reform. How come? It's a Wall Street government. I hope, it certainly was my intent, I hope that, uh, that everybody can come away with an understanding of what happened here, with an understanding that it hasn't been fixed yet, and that it's up to us, the American people, to fix it.